Paula, absolutely fantastic to be back, back at Ashford. Now, this is my third visit here. And I've walked through the doors, I've seen all the photographs with uh, the development that's been going on here. What, 50 million or something like that? And I've walked in and I have seen a, a massive spring in everybody's step in the castle. Tell me a bit more about it. Understandably so, Roger. And first of all, it's great to have you back with us again because the reality is that, you know, Ashford, I suppose, uh, even from your first visit, I think you would, you would admit it's a very, very special place. It always has been. It blew me away the first time. Exactly. It blew me away the second yeah. time. It has totally <laughs> blown me out of the water this time. <laughs> well, you can only imagine for those of us who've worked here and have yes. actually, you know, who, who have been custodians of this place for so many years, it is extraordinary what has happened here because we have got the most, the most amazing restoration, that loving restoration that has just been completed by the Tolman family mm -hmm. of the uh, Red Carnation Group, yes. which brought Ashford over in June of to Ashford now, it is an assault on the senses. Mm -hmm. I actually coined it from day one, a palace in a castle. Mm -hmm. And I quite frankly, I think that's what's happened. Yeah. We have got this it, unbelievable, it's it's an artist's delight. There's over 700 pieces of art that have been brought in to augment what was already here. Mm -hmm. There is, I don't know, countless numbers of antique pieces uh, that have been brought in. In addition to the most unique interior design concept ever seen in Ireland. I, I can't I can't imagine how one person has that vision and oh, is able to I, put it all together. You know, she, she's incredible. Unbelievable. We, I, I put it as succinctly as I possibly can. The first phase when we saw when we got a number of rooms done, mm -hmm. one of our team, which is not here at the moment, went up and said, God boss, you could just lie on the wall, you know? <laughs> which I thought was, you know, really explained it all. Do yes. you know what I mean? Yeah. Because all of the rooms have now got silk yeah. fabric. Each room is individually designed. So as I'd like to say, the Bur al Jarrah could call themselves a seven star property. Yeah. Well, if there was such a thing in Ireland, mm -hmm. You've now seen it. No, absolutely. And I think the, the difficulty people are going to have is when they've come and stayed in one room, they're going to have to come back maybe one more time. Yeah. <laughs> to stay in every room. 